Let's hope uh, we're as lucky with poopers as we were in this mission. That would be very good indeed. Why are some people still rookies? Vermoin, he he increased his uh, stats, but still, Battle Bunny is... Um, I don't know what he is. Oh well. Squaddy, probably. So, as you can see, quite nice increases of stats there. For a start. And, uh, yeah. Everybody do want this. Alright, so we're on this side. Yeah, quite far away from the UFO, which is as usual. Right. And let's you guys get you over here <coughs> as well. And we're gonna do the same thing we did before. And the other team is going over here because you have to be careful. Unlike in the previous XCOMs, or even the new XCOM, uh, the aliens can escape through these doors and can escape the map, actually. Which will, uh, which is a real headache, because they will start infesting other buildings nearby. Oh, there's one guy actually outside. And I can hear a lot of them here, actually. Wow. And they're gonna start shooting brain suckers. Not cool. Stop it. Oh, pooper, 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 pooper. It's coming very close, somewhere. I don't like it. I do not like the pooper sounds. Alright, it's our turn, nothing happened. That is actually very good. And, uh... Excuse me. Uh, who is this? This is Mr. Toast. Darn, I was hoping the pooper to be somewhere over here. Which means... He's still somewhere in the UFO. That is not good, that is not good at all. Unless he's in here. We will find out, because uh, the poopers leave smoke trails, believe it or not. So you can simply know that there are poopers around if you see... Well, obviously you will hear them, but you will also see uh, smoke trails, which will tell you where the poopers were or are going to. Nice work. Ba oh, ba that was a battle bunny. Picking up the eggs as well. Uh, is that all over here? We'll uh, check this area inside, of course. But there's nothing else over here, apparently. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Uh, Linzu, you're going to check out this little area over here. You can still run, which is good. And hello! Ooh! <laughs> hello, Mr. Uh, Anthropod. Oh, wait, we didn't get a live one, did we? Yeah, run away. We didn't get a live one, did we? Y you too! Little bastard. So, I would like to get a live Anthropod here. I think we didn't get a live one anyway. You don't have a stone grapple. That's kind of a shame. But actually, what we can do is bring you over here. Look, this is 31 units remaining. Oh, and it was 31. Never mind. Let's throw a stun grenade inside there. They should fall unconscious. Because uh, we've already um, damaged both of them. And you get out of that smoke. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's get you guys, Psycho Scorpions, to take care of that pooper which will inevitably come and Greg Draco as well. I'm counting on you with explosives to do that. Vermoin, you'll be over here and you, Terabyte, are going over here just in case these guys find some brain suckers coming out and you can do some nice explosive shots there. You guys are talking about steak? I hate you all. Why is it always food? I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love interacting with you guys, really. No battle bunny. Uh, well, yeah, I do have a little bit of cold, but it's basically just asthma. It sucks, but I'm going to get f I'm going to go for a checkup in a week or so. Anyway, let's see. 
And uh, why is the combat music still playing? Oh yeah, because of these two um, and the robots here. Now they're going to fall asleep here. Come on, oh, there's one and there's the other one. But now the brain suckers are coming. Oh, pooper, pooper. Nope, no poopers. Excellent. I can still hear um, <coughs> a multi worm. I heard. Right, Lin Zhu, don't fall asleep on me. Even though you're going through smoke, there's no brain suckers here, and there's no brain suckers here. Interesting. So, there's nothing here. Excellent. Well, let's go check out the rest of this map. I do like how uh, you know these UFOs have crashed; they just slid along this path and bang. Pretty cool. And I'm still waiting for that pooper to come out, so... I'm just gonna get some other people over here. Terabyte. You know, if the pooper decides to come over here and explode, he'll have more people in the blast. Not just a few, so that's why I'm putting everyone in a big clump Asgard over there as well. And we're just gonna stay like that for now. Hopefully there's no more aliens outside the UFO, because they can run away. Nope, still nothing, which means they're forcing my hand and I have to go investigate with Mr. Toast. Let's hope you won't be toast. Nothing here. Oh, there's the pooper. And a multiworm. Which is kind of cool, because if I can kill this pooper, uh, he will explode if I shoot him with... Well, basically everything that I, ha I have will uh, make him explode. But, the problem is, I will have a bunch of hyperworms on my, uh, on my watch there. The, the pooper probably won't make the, won't kill the, uh, hyperworm, uh, the multiworm, sorry. <coughs> but, I want to be sure. Psychoscorpions, let's get in there. Let's get in a nice firing line. And the rest... Greg Draco. Let's get you over here. Right, more people with explosives. So, hey girl class gamer, welcome to the stream. Oh, actually, yes, you're right, we should take the pooper alive. Oh, that's gonna be difficult, even though... Psycho Scorpions with the stun gun has quite... A few time units left. Not a lot, though. How much to shoot? Seven. Ah, oh, darn it. Right, we need to... I'm gonna... Whoa. Two multi-worms here. Not good at all. Not good at all. Right, I will save this here. I'm not gonna restart, of course, because we're playing Iron Man. But just in case the game decides to be stupid than us. Right, so... Uh, cool. Oh, there's another spitter there. Right, we're in position. And we can only do two stuns. So, I will bring someone with a machine gun over here. And soften this guy up carefully. One, two. Did that actually hit or not? Wow, that sounded like it didn't hit. Excellent, that's a uh, pooper. A live one. However, we need to get away from all of these uh, hyperworms and spitters and everything, because they can be dangerous. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're far from the danger they should be, but they can be dangerous. And now we have a problem, because if we shoot explosives next to this pooper, he will explode and have explosive diarrhea. So these guys are not going to shoot. Let's get some more people inside. Vermoin. Uh, over here. Well, you can shoot, you've only got a machine gun. No! Uh, that was a misclick, I brought him back down. Ugh, darn it. Mackenzie Kaloon, let's get you up there as well. Don't shoot with your explosive. Actually, I think... No, I'm gonna bring the rest of the people up there. Just in case. <coughs> 
And over here. That is Terabyte. Yeah, we have rain here as well today. And it really sucks. I would like a white New Year, but apparently the weather thinks otherwise. And it sucks. Right. We have one more guy outside. Uh, stunning Jam, but he's going to check the outside of the UFO just in case there are some horrible aliens out here. Apparently not that. What is going on with my headphones? Very annoying. <coughs> Alright, next turn, let's see what happens. Nope. And as usual, these multiworms aren't really doing much, just moving around and... It's kind of weird, the AI in Apocalypse. That's probably why it makes so easy. I mean, you can still have your uh, soldiers die, especially with brain suckers, but... Oh well. Right, that was a pretty good turn. Exactly pretty much how I liked it. I like it because uh, well now we can just go and kill these multi-worms. However, we have to be extra careful with this uh, pooper here. So you, Mr. Toast, are going to kill the spitters. So just oh, only four? You can't run, yeah. That sucks. I'll get over here and we'll get some explosives into the fray as well. Now the interesting thing is if you uh, corner a multiworm and kill it and get soldiers around it, at most it will spawn one hyperworm. Sometimes even no hyperworms. Which is of course a bug that you can exploit, but you know. And I'm just gonna be careful now. Don't want to shoot when the hyperworms spawn. Because that will... There we go. That will make them react immediately. So now we have to shoot and kill them both. Otherwise... We'll Whoa, this guy didn't react. Now he did, and it's dead. Excellent work, Greg Draco. Let's uh, kill these now. I love explosives in Apocalypse. So cool. There we go. Even if you don't really hit him, he will still take a lot of damage. Right. Psycho Scorpions, we're gonna use you to soften this guy up, and we might actually see what I was telling you about here. No Hyperworms coming out, because we'll completely surround him, but I think they'll uh, spawn over here. Uh, so now I'm going to show you something pretty cool which you will no not see in any of the other XCOMs. If you hold a J and click where you want to go... Oh, never mind. But if you hold a J, <laughs> the soldier will jump over whatever. But he could actually just walk over here. That's kind of just funny, weird. Uh, now, because this guy can spawn hyperworms here, I will want to have some backup over here in the form of Mackenzie Kaloon to just, you know, take the rest of them out, if necessary. So, let's uh, proceed with killing this guy. Gotta be careful. 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 Come on. Ah, uh, still not. Jeez. Let's have some armor-piercing ammunition, then. Apparently, uh, these guys are susceptible to incendiary, but there we go, two hyperworms here, so Yamik can actually, um, hey past child date, welcome to the stream, we're gonna load up explosive ammunition with uh, Yamik and shoot, and oh see, that's what I'm talking about, uh, hyperworms here, he had a reaction while the bullet was flying towards him and damaged Yamik. Let's see if we can actually kill this one, because what can happen is, you shoot the bullet... You shoot the bullet, and as it is about to hit the ground and explode, the hyperworm will get a reaction and move all the way like... like that. Away. Which is crazy, but that is completely possible. So, you get these... yeah, hyperworms are really... nasty. And they are very, very dangerous. And uh, I don't need to stun the Hyperworm Yamek, because uh, we'll get him... Oh! And now we've killed him. 
Asgard didn't want to get this guy alive, so he just shot him on the ground. Uh, hey, Pop Tropica dude, welcome to the stream. Right, these guys I don't care about. We uh, we need to get these guys out of the way of out of line of fire, though. So there must be more aliens around here. Let's go and find them with a terabyte. Where are they? Still something that can shoot or bite or spit. Huh, interesting. They might be over here, actually. Anyone else here? Yes, you. But you don't have any stamina left, so you're not going to be able to get to over there. Now, if this pooper wakes up, we're going to be in so much trouble. Well, let's see what happens. Yep, these eggs are going to start shooting. No, they're not. Okay, that's fine with me. That is fine with me. And I don't hear anything, which might mean that the last amphibod, or spitter, or whatever it is, is uh, panicking somewhere in a corner. And we're gonna find out with Asgard, I think. Uh, yeah, there's a spitter, but he's not panicking, which is fine with me. Oh, another one. He's probably gonna run away when we start shooting. Good night. And that should be all of it, I would say. Yep, that's all of them. Asgard promoted to squad leader, Battle Bunny promoted to squad leader, Greg Draco promoted to squaddy, and Yamik promoted to squaddy. Nice work. Alright, those were uh, really nice missions, actually. And Adam taking off, indeed, with uh, all of our soldiers inside him. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. Alien containment. Chrysalis. What? I thought we we had one. Ah, right. The scientists have taken one. Anthropod alive. Excellent. Popper alive. Nice. Um, <laughs> Multiworm dead. Eh, we can take him even though you don't really need him because when you dissect... I mean, when you research a live one, they just dissect it and... Uh, yeah. That's it. Alright, that was pretty damn good. I know past child date. This is my absolute favorite XCOM. It rocks. Right, we need to do some buying. Let's have a few... Marcy body units. Only four. Well, that's okay. We do have quite a bit of uh, cash. But we still can't buy a Hawk Air Warrior, which is a hundred and two thousand. We can do more uh, hover bikes, though. That's always nice. <laughs> so we'll do that. Uh, so that's four. So we need four. Render plasma gun, excellent. More Illyrium, all of it, in fact. Uh, anything else? Auto cannons we can sell, and multi cannon rounds suck. Let's have... no, that's okay. Profits. Let's have some more profit missiles. How many? Eight rounds only in this. Uh, that's actually not that good. Let's rather have janitor missile arrays. And enough missiles. Retribution missile as the standard we can sell. As the turbo we can sell and as the sports yes they have three available that's excellent let's have some deluxes as well fusion powerful I never really have to buy cargo modules biotransport modules are the ones that will at least make us a little bit of money in the beginning so we can sell some of those anti-air we don't <laughs> need that ground missile nope Illyrium yep we have all of those all right so let's wait for all the stuff to arrive. And there it goes. Our hover bikes. <coughs> and we have a secret answer, uh, secret entrance then. Oh, while we're uh, playing XCOM Apocalypse, did you guys hear what uh, what uh, the ex-Russian president Medvedev said 
uh, off the record in one of the interviews. He didn't know the uh, microphones were still recording, but he said when the uh, interviewer uh, asked him if he believed if aliens existed or something like that. And uh, Medvedev said that when a Russian president comes to power, he gets the briefcase with the nuclear launch codes and also a map of all the places where aliens live on Earth. And he said that he would not like to speak about any numbers because uh, p that would incite panic. And <laughs> it's just, what? <laughs> Oh, well, anyway. Okay, we're doing research. Chrysalis, alien propulsion. Ah, right, of course, we have the new hover bikes. And there they are, all nice and shiny. Let's take this off. That's what she said. Uh, okay, these are okay. These are okay. And hover bike 12, there we go. <coughs> Let's have some SD turbos, or SD sports there. And some deluxes, because we have... Oh yes, I bought some extra deluxes, because some of these have... SD standard and just one more SD deluxe. Excellent, just what I needed. Right. So let's uh, give them equipment. Render plasma guns are awesome. Look, they do 20 damage. They're not very accurate, but they do 20 damage. And these things only do 22. They're missiles, but yeah. The Randor Plasma Gun is very, very good, but it eats through Illyrium, so. And Illyrium is usually in very short supply. And there we go. Now that the render plasma, this render plasma has an orange outline, that means that um, we have no more Illyrium for it, so that's very bad news. We'll get missiles for these guys. Could give them some laser guns, but eh. Missiles are very nice. They're a sure shot. Well, not, not always, but... Right, let's uh, do some renaming. Uh, I can already see H. Colari. H. Colari. 97. Uh, and then we have Hoverbike 10. Who wants to be... Pop... Uh, Tropic... Uh, Dude 3. Welcome to XCOM, both of you. Hoverbike 11. Uh, Razor the Sharp, welcome to the stream by the way. Razor the Sharp, I can't uh, really recruit you as a biochemist because uh, you can't really rename them unless you use an editing program, so unfortunately I can't. CSM Soul, welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome to XCOM. And I believe we have one more hover bike available. And it's going to be Horst CM. Welcome to XCOM. Everyone else that... Uh, yeah, honey, is that AB. Sorry, I just skimmed through the chat and, you know, not to lose too much time. I, uh, but you will get either an agent or something. Just remind me when we do more recruitment. Which uh, we could actually do now. Let's see. 69. Goodbye. 93. Hello. 86. Versus 77. Uh, I can do that. I mean, it's only 800 per guy. 93, very nice. What do we have here? Not very good. 77, goodbye. 93, hello. 100, Dwight Camp. So, 79, goodbye. 100, hello. And 81, yeah, why not? I mean, it's not a huge improvement. Oh, why not? 81. Alright. And engineers? 99. 91. Excellent. So, 83 and... No, that's it. Wow, we have excellent engineers. 99. Yeah, and the other one is 91. Excellent engineers. Wow. 
Interesting. So let's uh, get some more agents. This guy has quite nice stats. Yeah, Yorko is coming. Very nice speed. Quite nice accuracy. This guy is a side trooper, which I'm not really a fan of, to be honest. Very good stats there, Astra. We're gonna get you. Another robot. Mostly robots here, but... Hmm. Galina Belov isn't really accurate. Yeah, stunning jam, I know, but I don't want to use any cheats, exploits, or anything like that. Uh, you know what? Let's get a couple of uh, side troopers anyway. Why not? Right. Let's see what we can do. Where are they? They're coming from all over the place. They're encroaching on our position. Oh crap! Unable to, unable to reach the destination because of a damaged people's tube. So, what we have to do is go and collect them ourselves. So I think they're just gonna keep civilian car destroyed by police car. <laughs> so we're just gonna wait for them. You know what? I'm just gonna do pick like that. I clicked uh, ultra speed for a split second, and there's that last guy. He's in Cult of Sirius. What are you doing here now, Hero Evans? Get out of there immediately! It's ridiculous. There we go. Get on the hoverbike and go back home. That is ridiculous. Traitor! Right. Uh, everyone off here, because the next thing to do now is uh, fight more UFOs, right? First, of course, we're going to be renaming. Uh, Yoko Okamoto. This is going to be... Captain... K. Welcome to XCOM. Then we have Naohiro Evans. Who is it? Who wants an agent? Oh yeah, Honey ZA Beast, right? I didn't uh, rename anything after him before. Honey Z uh, no, ZA Beast. Welcome to XCOM. Helen Baker is a side trooper. So who's gonna be a side trooper? Well, who wants a side trooper? Before I got loads of uh, applications and now no applications. <laughs> Nobody for a side trooper? Trivial tree. Trivial tree. Welcome to XCOM. Honey ZA Beast, you already got a soldier. There we go. Honey ZA Beast. Horst, didn't you get a uh, hoverbike? I thought you got a hoverbike, Horst. Cold Nemesis, welcome to the stream. I haven't seen your name before. So this is Cold Nemesis. And I saw someone wanted to be a side trooper, Malkath. Malkath. Uh, where are you? Malkath86. Welcome to XCOM. Right, that's about it for uh, applications for now. So, we need uh, five more armor and everything. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Agent equipment. So, let's go. Legs. Oh, of course. I need five of each. Five, five, and five, and one more body armor because we only have uh, a limited amount of flying chests. 
Uh, let's have some more auto cannons. Three. And I guess more machine guns then. Two more clips for the machine gun. More incendiary and more uh, armor piercing. Mind benders. We need another one. We can sell all bra brain sucker launchers. We don't need them. Oh, we actually haven't. Have we researched? Yes, we have. So we can just do that. Medic kits. Right. Let's wait for all the stuff to arrive. Yeah, we should actually raid Cult of Sirius. That's a good idea. Marsec supplied us, so yeah, they're, we're not on good terms with them. But they want 27,000. It's not unreasonable, especially on Superhuman. It's definitely not cheap, though. Definitely not cheap. We'll see. The problem is, if um, if I don't pay them off and they get hostile, they'll what? They'll want a lot more. Well, let's see if everyone is in training. You're wounded, so you can't train at the moment. You need training. You need training. You need side training, and you need side training. Right. So yeah, let's go. Let's go for a cult of serious raid. That's always fun, and it brings some money. So let's get everyone who is not wounded, along with our rookies. Actually, we need to. <laughs> we need to give them stuff first. Flying armor, which is kind of weird when you mix and match armor, because, as you can see, the trousers don't actually reach. Uh, all of, uh, to the flying armor, so basically this is exposed <laughs> a very particular area of the soldier is exposed oh well, bypass child day to thanks for watching shame you can't be here longer but oh well, that's life that's why I prefer not to have one anyway let's have more cold nemesis dink 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 and dink Actually, you don't need this, you can have the heavy body armor. And these guys will have really few time units because they're not very strong because they're uh, side troopers. Right, Captain K, you're getting an auto cannon, some lovely explosive ammunition, and a stun. And a medic kit as well. Honey Z A Beast. All of this good stuff. Trivial tree. You're not very accurate, so you might as well get a machine gun, which will increase your accuracy up quickly. You can get an auto cannon because you're very uh, strong and you can carry all of this stuff around. This and a smoke grenade. And Malkuth is going to get a mind bender and also a machine gun. Actually, very few time minutes. How many? 65, oh yeah, that's in total, but look, you all, you have like 30 now. That's it, where's our, oh, Trivial Tree is here, right. So you get this as well. Excellent, I think we have our squad ready. Alright. Uh, let's get everyone who is not wounded, as I said before into Adam <laughs> and let's go on a nice little raid uh, you know what let's go to this temple because they were so rude that they kept one of our people hostage there so we're going to bust this place 